Welcome, man. Oh, welcome back to the channel, man. Let's get through this real quick. Oh my goodness, 820. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm late. Look, let's do this real quick. Y'all saw the title. We're talking about transmission. And the reason I want to talk about this is because I had a young lady. I have a lot of personal customers, guys. I don't know if uh, y'all know this. I have I work out of four shops and I'm my own personal mechanic to a whole lot of people that's not associated with shops. Okay. Now, I'm one of those type of guys that believe in if I met you at the shop, you are property of the shop. Okay. So you got to be very careful when dealing with customers that way. If I meet you at Walmart, if I put my card on your car and you call me and we start talking and start communication, at that point, you are my personal customer. Okay. But if I meet you at the shop, no matter which shop it is, you are property of that shop. <laughs> All right. Yes, you can call me on my personal phone, but I would still look at you from a different perspective. OK, then uh, just say if I had met you at Walmart. Now, I bring it up to say I have a lot of friends that own a newer model of Chrysler product, the Pacifica. OK, I have a personal customer of mine, of mine that just happened to own a Chrysler Pacifica. Y'all know the Pacifica showed up in 2017. All right. Yes, it took the place of the Dodge Grand Caravan, even though that van proceeded on along the way up until 2020. At that point, they just cut it out. So the only minivan Chrysler offer right now is the Chrysler Pacifica. Uh, there's several options. OK, they have the hybrid option as well. But my customer owned one. Now, she called me. Uh, it's typical. Uh, I don't know why she had pet boys. That car is too new, guys. I don't want to bad mouth independent shops because like, i have buddies working in independent shop dad's garage lakes garage all my buddies on youtube they i mean yeah i would never degrade the independent shop that's not what i'm doing here however pep boys told her she need a transmission service all right they gave her an estimate of 339 some crazy price like that now my you will hear my think about what i said your estimate says transmission service okay now guys i don't know about y'all but um there's different meanings everybody have their own different meaning of the word transmission service all right i can only speak for me when i use the word transmission service what i'm referring to is a uh, procedure of replacing the fluid replacing the filter replacing the fluid and the filter okay that in my opinion is a transmission service all right, so let's get that cleared away off the top. All right, now transmission flush, you don't need, all you need is a machine and some fluid. I am no big fan of the transmission flush. I'll put that out there. Now, depending on what shop I'm at, there are times I have to upsell or sell transmission flush jobs. All right, <laughs> again, it depends on where I'm at. Uh, you got to follow rules depending on where you at. All right. But I'm no big fan of the transmission flush. Now, which begs the questions, if there was a lot of shops out there surviving off of typical maintenance, typical services. Right. What are they to do now that the transmission service is going bye bye? It's not that it's going bye bye, guys. And I want to pick on one transmission in particular, uh, the one that's equipped with this. Pacifica. It's Chrysler Pacifica. It is a ZF version. Okay. ZF make, we use ZF for transmission. Uh, we use a 8 HP transmission for the rear wheel drive vehicles. Okay. And we use the 948 TE for the front wheel drive vehicles. All right. So we have a uh, two different transmission that are uh, being used from the ZF corporation. All right. Front wheel drive and a rear wheel drive. That front wheel drive transmission is in, in everything that's front wheel drive jeep cherokee caravan all the cars and things like that except for the rear wheel drive cars now guys i questioned her or i asked her to tell me the name of the procedure that they would like to do it specifically says transmission service what's up mj 100k uh transmission service remember what i just said 940 ate transmission equipped in that pacifica you cannot service that. I take that back. You can service it. And remember, guys, what my definition of service is. Replacing the filter and the fluid. All right? Now, 
I left out a particular service. There's three particular services that's available for a transmission. If it's available on a specific transmission, a transmission service, a transmission flush, and a simple drain and refill. All right. I'm no fan of the flush. However, I've done drain and refills. All you're doing there is draining the fluid. The fluid is made so much better now, guys, than in the past. It's hard to break the fluid down. The fluid is very dependable. Your fluid will accumulate a lot of trash and fail that way before it completely break down. That's why a lot of transmission now, a lot of the companies do not recommend you add additives because the fluid is already enriched with <laughs> the goodies. All right. So, you know, these additive companies, again, I don't want to affect anybody's revenue stream. All right? I'm not saying don't go buy additives. No, I'm saying it may not be needed. Okay. Now that's the same thing, ain't it? But look, let's talk about the Pacifica. I'm still stuck on the Pacifica because she said they want to sell her a transmission service. And I asked her to read it to me. It says transmission service, $339. Uh, either they don't know or they have no plans on changing it. All right. Now, the filter in this transmission is replaceable. It's replaced. I've done one. All right. Now, but get this. In order to gain access to that, I'm going to let this play while I, uh, while I speak on this. Because in order to gain access to that uh transmission in question that we're talking about uh you have to transmission guys this is a transmission 48 i know Baja, i'm late man my bad chrysler only have two models yes uh the front wheel drive and the rear wheel drive of the zia here's a fluid for this we're talking about this pacific right now and the 948 this is a transmission right here i took this out of a unit uh, I was actually replacing it. I decided to tear it apart before I turn it back in as a core. So my point is, guys, when somebody tries to sell you a service on a transmission, that's ah, oh my goodness, you gotta be careful because the filter is replaceable. You can go to the parts counter and buy transmission filter for this unit. But you see, this transmission is on the table. You know why? Because it's the only way you can get to the filter. The filter is housed on top of the pump. Okay, this transmission is so crammed up, it's so compact, they had no choice. Now, mind you, any transmission, any engine, any transmission, whoever designed it, don't matter. There has to be a way of filtration uh, involved in it, right? So there has to be a filter. You're crazy to build a transmission and don't include filtration or filter. To design to filter out the ingoing fluid. Remember, guys, before your fluid reaches the pump, it's first to the valve body and then go out to its needed port. It goes through a filter. At least they should be designed that way. All right? This filter is not replaceable. It does, but you have to remove the transmission in order to get it. Here's why. Like I just said, it's housed on top of the pump. So I'm doing one now just to make this video. All right? No, I did not sell a transmission service because a transmission service technically will include or will, I would need eight hours labor to do a transmission service. Imagine going up to the front and telling the customer, yes, ma'am, you do for a transmission service. Eight times a month. Uh, labor's going to run you $1,600. Right. It's hard to sell a transmission service on this, even though the filter is replaceable. So, what do we do? Uh, I, 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 I either keep quiet. I'm not big fan of that, guys, because I'm the type of technician that likes to prolong the life of items such as transmission. Guys, I don't care how good the fluid is. I don't care how good the transmission is. Over time, this filter will be trash, normal trash that comes from normal places like torque converter or the clutches themselves. Okay, so yes, you, there's no squeaky. Look, I, I finally got the case off or the cover off. There's the filter right there, guys. Y'all see that? That little yellow box. So if somebody tell you, what are you doing? A TCC? No. Uh, I'm just removing this, this cover to show the location of the filter. Here's the filter right here, guys. So if somebody tell you we need to do a transmission service on your part, this transmission, they lying. 
They're not going to, if, if your definition of service is replacing the filter, uh, this is the only way to do it. The transmission have to come out. Nobody wants to pay eight hours labor. Now, unless you just reach and got money, that begs the question why you have a Pacific in the first place. But some people like that. I, I don't care. I got a Pacific. I want my transmission service properly. JT, here you go. All right. I then will have to remove this transmission. Guys, guess what? This transmission is not easy to take out by no means necessary. So I would be upset at a whole other reason. Man, why you want to transmit the service? Huh? Even though I preach service, look at all this uh, goo on the mat. You see this? Yes. All right? This is a feel for life transmission. And for them to sell it that way, uh, it's misleading a little bit, guys. This filter is going to accumulate trash and dirt. All the time, it will eventually just fog up all together. Now, I hear people say all the time, guys, we're living in a throwaway society. So I guess when that filter finally clogs up, <laughs> take the transmission out and throw it away. <laughs> I mean, think about that for a second. Oh, my goodness. Who the hell wants to throw their whole minivan away? Because, uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that, man. Uh, yeah, I told her that she got 70,000 miles. Is it due for one? Absolutely, guys. I a transmission, sir. A transmission in general. Once it reaches sixty thousand miles, there's some trash has been accumulated. Normal trash on top of that. So, yeah, uh, you should service your. That's man. That's the only way to help prolong the life of your transmission is to perform the service. If the service is available, this particular car that we spoke about, it's available. It's just gonna run you eight hours labor to do it. At the, now, it's time to make some serious decisions. The JT said, no, I'm for it. But it becomes a fact, should you? The corporation, or I want to say Chrysler, because Chrysler don't usually, you know, blurt out what the corporation recommend, right? They have that right. They don't have to, okay? I mean, most of the warranty is out of 60,000 miles. On an eight-speed, most of the powertrain warranty is out of sixty. What a coincidence. That's, that's just when the service interval to service that transmission. So basically, let's call it a feel for life since, in essence, the warranty is out at 60,000 miles. So technically, you shouldn't even touch it until then. That's the life. That's the feel for life. <laughs> Depending on how you look at it. Okay. Your warranty out at 60,000 miles. They do not want you touching the transmission at all while it's under warranty since your warranty is out at 60,000 miles it's your world dog do what you want to do now all right the flush it service it why however you please so they some companies fingers are crossed please last 60,000 miles please get us past that customer gets 60,001 miles they on their own all right so they no longer preach and feel for life after that point at that point what's up trick all right Man, glad you first, glad you jumped on uh, as soon as I showed up, man. That's what's up. Octavia, what's up, man? So y'all be careful with those transmission service, man. Small engine guru. What's going on, my friend? Sean J, I wanted to change the fluid and fields on my Challenger, and I was told it's some Felix XP. It's not Felix, 8HP transmission. That's the real-wheel drive uh, HP transmission that ZF that's found in a lot of the Challengers and Chargers. Especially on 2014 and up, I want to say. 2013, I think they were still using the five-speed NAG transmission. All right? And earlier than that, that was a transmission called a 42RE, 42RLE. That was a four-speed transmission. So, guys, car makers have evolved. evolved all right? We went from four-speed, five-speed, eight-speed. What's next? I heard uh, Chevrolet or GM or one of them have a 10-speed transmission. Yeah, I mean, when will it end? When will it stop? How many freaking gears do you need? Okay, think about this. You're on the freeway. The whole point in all those gears is to help lower RPM at higher speeds. So as you increase speed, uh, your RPM is high. The speed or the gear shift change allows for the RPM to drop. Uh, uh, By the time you get to this 10th gear or the 10th speed, your RPM is probably 600 target idle 
What's target items on a lot of cars? 600, 700 RPM? You probably said you talk about uh, emissions. Yes. Oh, my goodness. If you go on 80, 70 miles an hour and your target, your idle, you're sitting on 700, you're not burning as much gas as you would if you had a four speed transmission going 70 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, you, your engine is at higher RPM and your transmission is whining. So you basically, yeah. So it's strange, man. It's crazy how that, uh, uh, I wanted to change the feeling, and I was told, yeah, it's still serviceable, dude, my dude. I sell this service all the time, okay? Uh, does Chrysler only have two models currently? Two model transmission found. One for front-wheel drive and one for the rear-wheel drive. Now, some of the bigger trucks use the Asian Warner transmission. They use a, a different transmission, but, yeah, for the most part. Does Chrysler only have two models? Yeah. So, I know, man. My bad. I know. I suck. Okay. What's up, MJ? 100K. What's going on, man? What's going on? Nice shirt. Hey, you like that? Yeah, baby. I still got to wear that. Uh-uh. I got to get that on there, my friend. Yeah. Okay. I'm slacking. That's going to sit right there. And I got to find me a patch. It says JT, the car guy. All right. To go along with my USA. US. Guys, we live in a free country. Oh, my goodness, man. Do y'all know some of the pain and headache a lot of people are going through in other countries? <laughs> United States of America? Now, I, ain't, well, I ain't trying to go political on you. I ain't trying to infuse politics in this. I'm just saying some of the stuff those people are going through or in those other countries and all this politics, we are too, but we're free. Freedom of speech. I can take this mic right now and say some of the dumbest things or I can say what's on my mind. Freedom of speech. Now, YouTube may not like it. They'd be like, wait a minute, JT, what you just say? YouTube, freedom of speech. USA, USA. I know, but you can't say that. But I thought USA, freedom of speech. Yeah, don't be stupid, okay? Don't just say any old damn thing that, uh, can I say any old damn thing? I don't know. But, hey, free country, baby. I love it, all right? Yeah, man. Uh, remember, guys, I'm going a, I'm to a touch on some politics as it relates to the automotive industry, okay? I'm not totally shying away from politics. It, it just has to be related to the automotive industry because right now, ooh, politics is so polarizing, okay? One wrong move, half your audience is gone. He said, what? Oh, I don't know, like his ass no more. Uh, What's going on? Thank you, Toto. Uh, Toto, too. What's up, Ron Steele? How's it going, man? I just decided to jump on, guys. I get really got company in there, so I want to get to them. Yes, but the 8 HP 78 transmission are, yes, it is serviceable. It's serviceable. You just got to replace the complete pan. The 8 HP, the filter is integrated into the pan. All right. So you just got to go buy a transmission pan and some fluid. You don't need no RTV. You don't need no gasket. All that's built on the pan. So if you want to service your 8 HP transmission found in a lot of the rear wheel drive vehicles that Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge make, it's doable. Now, I highly suggest you go with OEM fluid. There are a lot of fluid out there that claim you can put this in anything, dog. One size fit all. You don't even care. Ford, cry. this fluid right here, this fluid right here, look, look at this fluid going in it. Guys, no, don't. No, man. Get the fluid that the manufacturer suggests. All right. I know uh, some of y'all call me a Mopar fanboy, but uh, I, maybe I am. I don't know. None of that Dermin fluid. All right. We don't do Dermin fluid in the 8 HP. Who is this? Octavia. Don't go get no damn Dermin fluid. All right. Use OEM 8 and 9 speed transmission fluid. All right. That's what ZF said. It's best design for that vehicle. It's serviceable, though. It's serviceable, though, my friend. All right. Uh, looking at a three acre lot, uh, three lift shop with car wash. Very. Hey, man. Go for it, man. You the type of dude uh, can, can pull that off, man. Run your. Hey. It just ain't in me. I get asked that question all the time. You ever thought about running your no guys? There's a lot at stake. I've seen guys, uh, you know, not the down or anything, but uh, I got a couple of YouTube content creators that you know ran their own shop, and there's some out there doing well. Uh, Rain Man Ray, what's the other guy? Uh, damn, what's his name? The real good dude. They 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 some bad dudes, okay. But Rain Man Ray got fired. So imagine you get fired and you go home. What do I do now? I know. 
You know what that mean? That means you had discipline enough to have money stacked up for a rainy day. And getting fired, guys, is a freaking rainy day. All right. It's one of those emergency things. You can't be living check to check and just get fired. Okay. You do, especially if you got people relying on you, <laughs> such as your family. So, yeah, all you guys living reckless like that, man, check to check is not cool. You one check away from disasters. That's some guys. So, I got some co workers right now. If we shut the shop down for a week, they done. They doom. Oh my God, how am I pay my rent? I, I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm just saying, as you age, you become smarter and smarter with money. You gotta create. You gotta have some discipline when it comes to money. Just because you ran a hundred hours in a week, one week time, three weeks straight, that don't mean go buy a new car. Put that money up because hard times coming. All right, this industry is like this. Automotive repair industry, especially if you commission. If you hourly, you ain't got nothing to worry about this. But if you commission, which most techs are, you got to worry about this. So you, what you do to counter that, maintain some serious discipline to put some money aside for rainy days. All right. I don't mean to get on that. But, uh, hey, go for it, Baha, man. I, I'm pulling for you, baby. If you decide to take that route, go. Dark man, what's going on? 69 Dark man. would be nice if they can make them, like, big trucks transmission. With spin on filters. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, those days slowly going away, guys. Uh. No, uh, I just told that transmission part just to get a or show y'all a picture of the filter. All right, the filter is replaceable, it's just that you have to remove the transmission. Okay, I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. All right, uh, yes, what do you mean? Never mind, what happened? What's, what's on your mind, man? Speak up. I just, hey, that's what's up, Keza. You potentially help extend the life of your transmission when you did that. On the SUV, same issue. Is it a pilot? I don't know. Now, that transmission, that 948 TE, that same transmission is in other models, such as the Honda. All right? They just give it a, a different, not so much a name, but they have different numbers designated for 948 TE is the version Chrysler used. Nine, the first digit stands for a nine speed transmission. 44 torque rating, maybe 49, 48, eight, maybe torque rating. TE transverse, trans, transverse transmission. E for 948 TE, E electronically controlled transmission. Man, I should know this, right? I got to brush up on that stuff. Uh, I might have that wrong, but don't charge it to my heart, man. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. Is it? Can y'all hear me? Uh-oh. Uh, there wouldn't be any service cost. If you, uh, where is my damn... Well, I got me worried, guys. I got to look at my uh, audio and see. I'm on MG. Yes, my mic is on MG. My audio coming out. My internet jacking up, man. I do not like that at all. Look, uh, so let me get through these comment sections, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. I just wanted to jump on real quick. Uh, there wouldn't be any service costs if they designed to be serviced. <laughs> well, what what happens to the shop that was relying on, on those services to survive? I don't know if a lot of you guys were turning wrenches back in the day. I don't know, five years ago. We was doing, we was heavy on 60,000 mile service. No, 30, 60, and 90,000 mile service. It was a lot to do. As the years passed, a lot of those services went away. Okay. But a lot was created. Brake fluid, brake service. Okay. Where on earth did that come from? Like, well, we weren't really doing brake system services 15, 20 years ago. All right. As services went away, they had to create some new ones, guys. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit here and dog out the industry that I'm a part of, right? Yeah, that would be counterproductive. JT, don't shut your damn mouth. Zoop. All right. But, um, yeah, if y'all know me, y'all know how I roll. Okay. But, yeah, a lot of them going away. If they say service, they're usually talking. Flood. That's exactly what. At $300, Urban Wolf, that's exactly what they're talking about. But you shouldn't. That's misleading. Using the word service is misleading if that's all you're going to do. Yes, on this 940 ATE transmission in that Pacifica, you can service it and you can do a drain and refill. All right? 
you can do a service, but you just got to drop the transmission to do that. But it's word games that they can play with consumers to convince them, I got a service for three hundred dollars. I, I can damn near bet you you didn't get that filter replaced. Nah, you got to drain and refill. Wait a minute. Uh, again, I don't want to, you know, I ain't dogging out pep boys. I'm just saying uh, that's the way it is, man. Uh, so, I don't know. I right, 50 bucks, I can do it myself as far as drain and fill. Yeah, if there's a drain plug, some of them there is not even a drain plug. The train is the 8 HP transmission in the Challengers and Chargers. There's no dipstick. There's no dipstick tube. The only entry port to that transmission is an Allen head on the side of the transmission. What goes in comes out unless you drop the pan, of course. So, yeah, there's some some cases there's no drain and refill or there's no drain plug on this transmission. So, yeah, you got to be careful with that. Uh, people don't always like to hear the truth. Uh, that's what's up. Dan S. Thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, the damn 10 speed would be shifting constantly. Dude, I mean, goodness gracious, man. Uh, oh, my goodness. Um, how many, I, I don't know how you guys age, but how many of y'all drive sticks? Okay. A lot of people upset that the stick is slowly going away. I myself am a little depressed. I didn't get to show my kids how to drive a stick. That was one of my dad things I really wanted to do. All right, come on. Let me show you how to drive a stick. First, you go in the first gear. This is a clutch. I never got around to doing that, so I feel like I let my child down, even though she may not never be behind the wheel of a car equipped with a stick. It's just something. Because think about it. Once it get in you, once it's in you, it's going to stick with you forever. All right? Yeah, it's just going to stay with you. I haven't driven one in a while, but it's already in me. Like, if I sit down in the car right now, I go, okay. It'll come right back to me. Some things just never leave. Uh, yeah, that 10 speed is crazy, man. Okay. Uh, Chad Sanders. What clue are we talking about? Mercury, Montana. Same way, 2003. That's an older one. Uh, transmission service is such a pain now. No dipstick. And a Honda six speed in my Patriot doesn't allow for filter change without rem Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> It's not really dumb. It's, again, it's because they had no place to put the filter. The only place, when they crammed all of that up in there, they like, oh, wait a minute, engineers, y'all forgot the filter. Wait a minute. Engineers, y'all stupid. They're like, okay, we'll figure it out. We got a plan. We got a plan. Looking at this diagram, there's a little room left on the top of the pump. We'll put one right there. All right, just make sure you put one because – Fluid before the fluid gets to the pump, it needs to be filtered. Okay, boss, we got it. We got it. They designed it and put it right there. Only one problem. It's not serviceable. The normal way. You got to take it out. <sighs> yeah, uh, I'm with you, shop cats. That's crazy, man. Uh, some stitch switch to put that patch on. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, yeah, I got to, you know. Uh, yeah, man. Not this one. What the hell is my... I ain't talking about this one, guys. Oh, this is it. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube certified. I thought this was the real ASC. I got some real ASC patches around here, too. I'm not real cool with the ASC patches. All right? I got two of these. So I got two shirts. They going on uh, each one. I got some ASC patches around here somewhere. I got to go recertify on my ASC. All right? I can still wear my patches, though, even though they expired. Uh, what's up, Jose Rodriguez? What's going on, man? Let me get through these comments, guys, because it's 9 o'clock. Remember, I got a company. I call it limited <laughs> limited free speech. Yeah. You say enough. When it start hitting here, who was that? Upside down. When it start hitting the pocket. <laughs> okay, YouTube. I, I understand. You're not monetized no more. Okay. Okay, YouTube. I shut up. Uh, Ford and Chevy. Yeah. 10 speed is a monster of a transmission, I can imagine. We just hit eight. We're in no rush to go to 10. I don't really see a need in 10 myself, but this be all the same transmission. Okay, they're the same one. Ford and GM use the same transmission? Interesting. Uh, Yeah, that's crazy. That's interesting as well. Uh, so, uh, you are. Yeah, you are. Come on. <laughs> uh, so, guys, here's what we're going to do. One of the top Corvettes shifts fast and hard. Wow. 
Chad Sanders, who has no, yeah, who are you talking about? Well, guys, Rust Belt Mechanic went independent. Rust Belt Mechanic. Don't I know that guy? Rust Belt was a Chrysler guy, wasn't he, Baja? Rust Belt quit the dealership and went to work for, if we're talking about the same guy, he went to work for an additive company. I don't know what happened with that, but uh, I don't know. He was a dealer guy at one time. All right, guys, on contrary to what you may believe, the dealer guys don't make a lot of money. Okay, there's too many. It's too. It's too much politics. All right, and you have so many rules. Okay, and you're on the time constraint, and they making the cars crazier and crazier. And you having a hard time beating the time. You simply breaking even. And I'm gonna tell you something. No mechanics wants to freaking break even on anything. Damn it! If it pay 0.5. It better not take me 30 minutes, even though that's what 0.5 is. We under the mindset if it pay an hour, we better be done in at least 30 minutes. All right. Yeah. Even though Christ will sit down and figure it out, this is how much it should take. I bet I better beat that time. That's all I know. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. But I don't care if it pay an hour. It better not take me no hour. Or you're gonna scream, you know, rip off, scam. No, guys, mechanics, yeah, it's rough out here for us, believe it or not. So, boy, boss me, another guy. That's my dude. Uh, I spoke with him. We were supposed to do a live stream together a while back. It scheduled conflict, so we were supposed to reschedule it, but now he got his own shop. He's busy. I'm busy. So, uh, when it happens, if it happens, it will happen. I have nothing against the dude at all. He killing it. I'm subscribed to his channel. I see his videos. I watch his videos. Especially if you got the word, you know, anything Dodge related in it. I'm all ears and eyes, but he doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. That's how we like it. We don't, I don't jump on his video. Man, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Guys, it's a YouTube ruling place. At least it should be. Okay. YouTube etiquette. Okay. It's called YouTube etiquette. You got a channel. Uh, don't jump on another channel talking smack. That's that's like saying Baja. That's like, like if Baja jump on my channel, Baja hear me say something wrong. I'm wrong, but it's not Baja place to jump in there and like drill me. Like, you know, say it in a, you know what I'm saying? But some guy, they don't give a damn. They just, one guy got like, he just started his YouTube channel. He got maybe a hundred subscribers. He jumped on my, one of my video, man, you don't know what they have. You don't know what you're doing. Just stop doing videos. I went to his stuff. I'm like, yo, player, man, you just got in the game. What is you doing? You don't jump in making enemies. You jump in making friends and build around that and branch out. Some guys don't have YouTube etiquette. Like, like you just don't do that. It's called etiquette. So I would never jump on. I go to Scotty Kim uh, looking at his stuff. Wrong stuff that don't make sense. You think I'm going to say something? That ain't my place. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just replaced my transfer case on a Jeep three quarts of mobile. It was 50 bucks down, but didn't trust the fluid they they claim compatible. Yeah, uh, it depends. And you know what's weird about this upside down? Those guys stand by their product. We was once using Valvoline. We so-called did a transmission service using Valvoline. I don't know, a month later, the transmission come back messed up. Valvoline paid for the transmission. So they stand by their product, all right? They got insurance. So if something happens, it goes under the insurance policy. Zia recommend lifeguard fluid. Yes, for the now I'm thinking it's all the same, my friend, just different color. Like the fluid that they have designated for the Jeep Corporation. It's like clearish, greenish, and they stamp the fluid eight nine speed transmission because that's the transmission that we use. All right. I guarantee you it's no different than this, but just a different color, okay? We're talking the same transmission, so why would the fluid be different? They just want you to use what they have designated for it. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking that's how they work, my guy. All right, what type of Jeep? The PTU on my Patriot just used cheap old. Yeah, some of the some of the transfer case use regular transmission fluid. Right, but it depends on the year or get a side. It's a side hustle. This is definitely, you know what? YouTube is not even a side hustle to me anymore. It's like, I can't call it my main job, but 
you know, that's tacky. So I'm not going to even discuss that. But um, depending on your level, what level you had on YouTube, you can make some serious revenue stream. Okay. You can. I've seen guys quit their jobs. They're doing so good. Okay. I'm not there yet. I'm not. I need to be. I need to move. I need to be under the hood. Okay. Just because I would have a successful channel just generating more revenue than I. That's why Scotty Kilmore closed all his shops down. He's like, what's the point? All this risk, all this overhead, making sure this, making sure that just to break even when I can just sit at home at my desk and do this all day and make more, twice as much more as running the shop. It's a no brainer. All right. But, you know, there's a lot of pressure on you when that's all you're doing. Whatever you only doing, there's a lot of pressure in doing that only thing. So Scotty is a full-time YouTuber now and making a killing. He have no need for another shot. But I'm just saying, okay, depending on your level, you can, uh, it is what it is. Uh, B got fired too. Uh, now he runs his buddy. Yes, he did. You talking about Ford boss me. And what I heard Ford boss me, he said uh, that that dealer ended up closing down anyway. So it was inevitable. Everybody losing their job. Uh, yeah, but yeah, he, he has some stories for you. And another guy, uh, Flat Rate Master, I don't know how many of y'all follow him. He got fired. A lot of politics was behind that, boy. Uh, yeah, Flat Rate Master, uh, he's a character, all right? Another, another. I think Flat Rate right here in the area. Uh, you know, I'd reach out to him, talk to him. What's up, man? You know, I'm game to network with anybody. One week is chaos. Next three weeks, like a desert. That's why you got to have discipline, my dude. Serious discipline. Put some of that money up that you did. Had good weeks on. Sad to see the Grand Caravan. The Grand Caravan gone in 2020. That caravan was supposed to leave in 2017. When the Pacifica showed up, the thinking was, won't well, nobody buy the Grand Caravan no more. So then we can get sales pushing on this Pacifica. It's only one problem. The soccer moms weren't having it. What do you mean no more? I, I'm dropping Chrysler. No more Grand Caravan. The soccer moms weren't having it. They weren't ready for that unique style of that Chrysler Pacifica. They li love that block-ass van, that Grand Caravan. They just love the blockness in it, all right? In fact, at one point, Chrysler had both available. At the same time, for three years, 17, 18, 19, 20, four years, all right? Side by side. And the Dodge Grand Caravan was still outselling the Pacifica. So in 2020, it's like, enough is enough. Goodbye, Dodge Grand Caravan, and goodbye, Dodge Journey. It was both of the, basically the same platform. All right. Uh, the hardest part of running my own shop is deciding what I'll be able to do. My current shop is full service. When I go on my own, I have to pick and choose what my cash cow. That's it, man. That's it. You got to be extremely careful. You nailed it. <laughs> you you definitely nailed it, man. Okay. Um. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's fine now. I'm going to head straight to the bottom, guys. It's 9 o'clock. Oh, thank you, my guy. Appreciate that. I don't know what happened. It's okay now, audio-wise. I have no idea what happened. Some people say I need my trans service when it's broke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of people are under the impression that a transmission service will fix a transmission problem. Guys, if you – the sole purpose of a transmission service is to help prevent a transmission problem. If you already got a transmission problem, a transmission service, it's not going to do anything for you. All right. And at that point, you just might as well find out what's wrong with your transmission. Unless the reason for your problem is uh, the filter is clogged up. OK, you can go ahead and do a service, replace the filter, put a new one on. And you may feel like you fixed the problem. But think about it. That filter clogged up for a reason. All right. Yeah. So something is coming apart in the transmission. Something normal is coming apart in the transmission. Guys, every time you crank your car up and move, there's transmission wear happening. It may be small. It doesn't matter the amount. There's just some wear going on, which which means that inevitably, inevitably, your transmission will fail sooner or later out of no fault of your own. It, it's just a lifespan to every part on a freaking car they basically dealer shop deals forestly uh interesting okay uh 
Yeah. It's hard to say, man. Maybe line diagnosis and AC are the three I can do anywhere. But I can't do tires without space or machine. I can't do suspension without an alignment. Yeah, you got to invest money in that. Guys, I got to head to the bottom. It's 9 o'clock. All right, what's up, Dark Man? Got a new cheap mid-range 11-inch tablet from Walmart. Man, that is what's up, man. Uh, That is what's up. Took my 20 year for road service draining for film, and the guy told me to get the fluid changed out every 20,000 miles. I'm going to have to check with my fluffy, my guy, Fluffy Mexican, to see what's the true recommendation. Uh, Vehicles like the Nissan Road. I had a friend that owned one. When Nissan Rogue, uh, I did a transmission service on her vehicle. Uh, you know, I, I got to find out. I want to find out when is the technical change interval. Oh, I see some green, guys. Flushing, just redistribute. <laughs> the, look, the filter's job is to catch the trash. So by flushing it, you're not removing no trash at all. All right. In fact, you just like my man say, re redistributing, <laughs> redistricting the trash or the fluid that's in it. Will some of the trash come out with the fluid? You might get lucky. All right. Yeah, that's you. You nailed that, man. I raffled off of. Oh damn! You went live. Uh, why I didn't get a notification? Next week is a full set of. That's what's up, Baha. I didn't get the notification, man. I think I was sitting around the house taking care of some. That's what's up. Hey, I got some green, man. Uh, Super sticker Octavia and Pastel. That's what's up, man. Uh, thanks for the donation. It goes back into the channel so we can make the help the channel grow, guys. I got big plans for this freaking channel. Got to change my format around. You can never do the same thing you've been doing continuously. All right. You got to make this stuff interesting. All right. I can no longer just simply upload three shorts and one full video a day. You know why? Because it's now expected of me. All right? Yeah, everybody going, wait a minute. It's 3 o'clock. JT ain't upload a short. What the hell? What the hell he going on? Is he sick? JT hurt? Anybody heard from JT? He ain't uploaded a video all day. I got y'all spoiled. Y'all literally, one guy said he got his notification on it. As soon as it hit, ding, ding, oh, JT, I knew it was going to gonna come through. It's five o'clock, but I knew I was going to get short. I'm going to get two more later and a long video. Yeah, I got y'all spoiled. All right, that's a lot of work, man. That's not easy, man. Look, man, I upload a lot of content, but the thing about it, I tried my best to make sure it's not just any old junk. I try to make sure there's some meaning behind Every video I uploaded, whether it's a short or a long video, I uploaded a short today merely talking about redirecting the clutch core cable. One guy said, you didn't have to make a video on that. But I chose to, and I did. And now I'm glad I did. That video getting all kinds of views. I was just merely saying, take pride in your work, guys. Don't leave this connector just dingling around. It could get trapped in a belt. It could move. It could go places has no business. So what do you do? Get the bracket off the old compressor and put it on a new one. Me, 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 me. He dogged me out for even making the video. I'm going to the bottom, guys. Uh, Oracle Wisdom. Thanks again, Octavia. All right. I got to wrap. Uh-oh. I see some more. Jose Rodriguez. Here's some support. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it, man. Back into the channel, man. This channel. We got big plans for this channel. Jose, I appreciate you going on for the ride and everybody out there, man. I really can dig it. I feel the love sometimes. I appreciate it. Y'all just don't know. I get comments like, man, I love watching your videos, man. I ain't even a mechanic. <laughs> I'm like, really? I be like, really? Dude, I hate cars. I don't even like cars, dog, but I watch your video. That's good. Really? Dude, I, I can't stand a car. I can't even believe I got one, but I watch your videos all the time. I'm like, really? Hey, man, it's it's just a good feeling, man. All right. Uh, that's why I had to gauge my audience. Like I said, I think it's 25% consumers. The other 25, 25, that's a, it's also a low percentage of full-fledged mechanics. Mechanics have a hard time watching videos. They got too much pride. They don't want nobody to know that they had to go to YouTube and get some information because that would damage their ego. I ain't shame. 
I don't give a damn. I told y'all last week, if I had a Subaru outside kicking my ass, I'm looking up Baja stuff and trying to find out if Baja got something on it. If I got a Nissan, hollering at my buddy Fluffy Mexican. Anything. All right? No shame in my game, but mechanics don't... Ooh, you, you ain't supposed to know I had to go to YouTube to get some information. All right. I am at the very bottom because I got to wind this down. I think I yabble too much and uh, it messes me up, guys. I know we all would need help. Yes, man. Everybody needs freaking help, man. Uh, Yeah, I go to YouTube all the time. Google. Oh, my goodness. That's your best friend. Well, almost 100K. What maintenance should be done? Oh, 100K with a Pacifica. It's got the same transmission we're speaking about now. I hope you caught some of that video because there's no way to service that filter, transmission filter, unless you take the transmission out. Now, you ha- you can, however, prolong the inevitable. Uh, just do a drain and refill on it. Drain all the old fluid out and go back in with new fluid. This Pacifica 2017 model likely equipped with a 3.6 Pentastar Gen 3 equipped with 100,000 mile spark plugs. So, yeah, you do for that oil filter now this is 2017 it's the first year it came out we had problems with the fuel pressure sen- sensor all right yeah they had some issues with that but uh i can go on and on about remember that's the first year guys so the first year is always the guinea pig year the thinking goes do not buy a first year product car however you gotta be careful with that because there will not be a second year production if first year sales lackluster all right, so car makers really want you to buy that first year product. That's why all recalls are free. It should be free anyway, but that's why they will bend a few rules to keep you happy because technically they didn't know this problem would arise. The car just came out. You need input data from consumers in order to figure out what to change. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm blabbing too much, man. Uh, wait, who's Fluffy? Fluffy Mexican. What do you mean, who is Fluffy? Man, you better check yourself, man. That's my dude, man. Uh, specialized in Nissan. Well, he's a typical car mechanic. All right, car is a car, a car. At least that's what I was told. Jason Wong. Uh, yes, time me about. So, guys, how much is the normal cost to change the filter and fluid on a ZF Ram? The Ram is a rear-wheel drive vehicle, which means that's equipped with an 8 HP transmission. Uh, how much is it? normal uh cost wise i do not know it depends on the shop and you'd be surprised guys no two shops have the exact same prices no two shops are the same no two shops are in together they're not linked on the same everything okay unless they own by the same company but yeah you can't say well james smith chrysler plymouth jeep charged me 175 and you telling me y'all want 300 we're just in different areas so i don't know what the price is it's not a set price you got to call a local place and uh find out all right guys oh it's 9 12 i gotta wrap this up <laughs> yeah he was on last night i think maybe that's a chain i'm thinking an old one yeah so guys i'm gonna wrap this up what's up baja how much is normal cost uh the crisis of 62 te is the equivalent of a case of beer enjoy it and crush it with that <laughs> The 62T had its problems, I'll admit. Okay. Uh, I enjoyed the 62T. I was the king of those. I would yank those out and build them right there, still sitting on the transmission jack. All right. Because mainly I was interested in gaining access to the input clutch assembly. That's where all the problems were happening. So, yeah. Guys, I'm at the bottom. Uh, dealerships are like, what? Fingerprints? Eric Motion, what are you talking about, man? You just jump in and just, wait a minute, man. Easy, go easy on the dealership, Eric. All right. Oh, speaking of, speaking of the dude, easy fix, save the manuals. What's up, Fluffy Mexicanic? Somebody was just asking about you. Uh, at the very bottom, too. I was about to shut it down. I'm like, what Fluff dog at? Somebody was like, who is Fluffy? I can't find it. But, uh, yeah, my dude, uh, Spade, if you got any Nissan problem, you need to uh, subscribe to his channel and, uh, Follow him. He, he put in just as much work as I do. All right. So, uh, yeah, guys, like I said, I got some company, so I'm going to wrap this up. And uh, Fluff Dog, I'm here, Dart. <laughs> Appreciate you joining in, man. I got a video with some comical structure on it. All right. Uh, I saw, let me tell you how this far I go. 
I was driving by and I saw a car lot that had a Dodge Ram, Ford F-150, Chevrolet Subaru or something like that, and a Nissan all side by side. So, you know me, I jumped out with the whip, pulled over. I don't know if somebody was in the office of car lot. There I go, filming. All right, guys, check this out, man. Y'all see this now? Which one y'all taking? Y'all see that Ram 1500? It's got a Hemi in it. I'm going over all the different. I saw a Nissan in there. I was like, I don't think nobody going to want this Nissan. But if you decide to get it, that's on you. All right. But, yeah, I got some editing to do, guys. Let me get out of here, man. Um, 727 is a beast. Uh, you said no two dealerships. Oh, that's what you was talking about. No one has the same fingerprints. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of guys seem to think. The prices should be the same. The prices out here should be the same as the prices in Mobile, Alabama. Mm -mm. Mobile population about two, three hundred folks. Our prices is not the same as them. So when you get on my channel or one of my videos, two hundred dollars for that for two hundred dollars an hour, you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. That's the price. Just say no and go back to Mobile, Alabama. I don't know what to tell you. Like. I don't know why people fuss about prices. Guys, I want to go see Beyonce, right? I love Beyonce. Ooh, Beyonce, right? But guess what? Her ticket's too high. I'm not going to get on Beyonce YouTube channel, YouTube page. Beyonce, you crazy. I dare you charge $300 for a freaking ticket. Fantasia costs $100, Beyonce, or a similar artist. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's just not the same. So naturally, the pay or the charge is going to be different. Same with dealerships, guys. They're not all the same. So uh, please stop. Uh, what's you napping? Please stop that. Late, but I had to drop in right quick. That's what's up, man. I appreciate that, Fluff Dog. Oh, they do not build them like that. Yes. Oh, those times are done. I was watching the movie in time and realized the stream was almost out. Yeah, man. Uh, I was late anyway, man. Nissan saved you on. That's one good thing I give y'all. No matter what's under that hood, you're going to might have better fuel economy than any of those three. So it depends on your motive. Let's wrap it up with this. When you go out car shopping, if your sole purpose in life or your motive is to buy a vehicle that you can save at the pump, then yeah, choose wisely from that standpoint. Now, if you're sitting there and all your choices are trucks and your sole motive is who can give me the most bang for my buck, which one can I tow the most with? A lot of people buy trucks for touring. So you got to factor that in. But you can't have it all, guys. You can't have excellent fuel economy with a powerful engine and a powerful transmission and a lot of tow capacity. It just don't come all in one wop. So pick your poison. All right. I'm out, guys. That's all I have. Mobile, Alabama. Charged by me. Stop. I got to go. Appreciate that. 69 dot man. Where is Pookie? He coming. I'm going to introduce y'all to Pookie. In the near future, stay tuned, guys. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Come and subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next video.